Hi, so today is uh, 15th October 2022. So FSSA has released one gadget notification yesterday that is dated on 14th October 2022 and it is re regarding amendment of FSSI FSS labeling and display regulation 2022. So this is the second amendment and let's see what changes has been done. So first thing ki this amendment will be effective from 1st May 2030. So all the contents which are in this um, uh, amendment it is going to be effective from 1st May 2023. Now this amendment will be read as food safety and standard labeling and display second amendment regulations 2020-2022. So one major changes is like pan masala manufacturers while packaging they have to declare this warning. Warning means chewing of pan masala is injurious to health. So this warning need to cover at least 50% of the front of the pack. So 50% of the front of the pack need to be covered. It should be like uh, uh, other ways it, it means font size should be more. Okay, so 50% should cover. Now another major change is it is regarding it is regarding uh, labeling of various types of breeds. So there are they have identified five major category of breeds. So fifth category of the breed has been subdivided into several parts. Okay. So what is changes there? Changes is how to nominate breeds. So if you are selling your product as whole wheat bread, so major ingredient will be whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour means anta. Okay. And the content of whole wheat flour in uh, whole wheat flour in the uh, whole wheat bread should be minimum 75%. Minimum 75% means when you are uh, weighing flour for making whole wheat bread, so per 100 gram, your whole wheat flour should be the 75 gram. So like this. So if you are nominating your bread as wheat bread or brown bread, then in this case whole wheat flour content per 100 gram of the flour should be 50%. Then if you are saying ki my bread is white bread, then it should contain some maida. Okay? So there is no restrictions on adding maida, but it should be 100% maida. So in the, in the case of multigrain breads, so food grains permitted as per FSSI regulations, okay. So 20% should be grains other than wheat. So minimum 20% should be grains. So other than wheat, it should be minimum 20% other grains. So you know the, here they have put it a star marks. A star marks means, so first year of the implementations, percentage of grains is 10%. So it is written on the footnote. See, the minimum amount of a specialty ingredients in case of multigrain bread shall be minimum 10% in the first year of the enforcement, and thereafter it should be followed at 20%. Okay. So this regulation is going to be effective from 1st May 2023. So from 1st May 2023 to 1st May 2024. Their percentage is 10% for the multigrain breads, and hence after uh, it should be the uh, 20%. Okay. So a specialty bread, if you are treating as a, a specialty bread, so see a specialty ingredients that must be present in case of premix is added to the term bread on the label. So what is the specialty uh, bread? If you are saying milk bread, honey bread, cheese bread. No, oatmeal bread, cracked wheat bread, bread with wheat germs, uh, egg bread, then there are milk, I mean, so the major constituents, 
okay their percentage should be like this so this is the minimum maximum you can go for 7% 10% as per your wish but this content should be the minimum so that's how you can now nominate your grade okay so this has got approval from s gopala krishnan so he is the new uh, chief executive officers and uh, once again i would like to say this will be effective from 1st may 2023 thank you if you liked my video please don't forget to uh, press like button and also refer someone to watch my video